Well, with the warmer weather, snake season is here. Oh, but even in the Brazos Valley, you can find venomous snake species right in your own backyard. KAGS HD News reporter Chris Costa shows us how St. Joseph Hospital is doing research to help those who do get a venomous bite. Dog owners like Martin Reyes say it's not uncommon to see snakes out when going for a walk. Not all the time, but you know, a couple of times, you know, but not real big ones. There are more than 37 different species of snakes in the Brazos Valley. Some venomous, some not. The most common kind that is dangerous is the copperhead snake. Researchers at St. Joseph Hospital are working to see how effective anti-venom treatments are for copperhead bites. Very few people die of copperhead bites. But your whole arm can swell up, you could be out of work for a month. You may some there's even reports that people have permanent disability in that extremity. But it's not cheap. The first dose of anti-venom can cost more than eight thousand dollars. Dr. Brandon Lewis says that many people get better with time. The benefits are we do reimburse them for their time when they come in. And then they also, if they're in the treatment arm, they're basically getting free medications. One of the easiest ways to tell if a snake is venomous is by the shape of its head. If the head is round like your thumb, like the speckled king snake, it's not venomous. But if the head is triangular, it is, and you need to be careful. Be aware when there's a risk, right? I mean, if you're walking through New York City, you're not going to go through a dark alley on purpose. Advice Martin takes seriously. To watch out where they're walking. Don't, don't go off the trail. You can see it beforehand if a snake comes out. To keep himself and his canines safe from slithering critters. Chris Costa, KAGS HD News. Snake experts say that snakes like to nest in logs and rocks during the winter, so when you're cleaning up outside the house, make sure to use a shovel or a stick to prevent yourself from being bitten.